but yourself, mm. Kevin, Nick and Joe lived in a share house in Danglish, Perth. Can you assign each housemate a stereotype? The infant was definitely me. Mm. Just because I'm like four or five years younger than those guys. Everyone was a slob. Uh, <laughs> I guess Joe always partied the hardest. Yeah, no one did the dishes. Kevin used to like just have toast, but with um, pasta sauce on it. Like either pesto or like, you know, like Dolmio tomato pasta sauce. So Nine is the first record not to produce by Kevin Parker um, doing the mixing as well. Um, what's it like having the band self-producing and yourself doing the mixing? Well, we did a bunch of the early records on our own, but we didn't really know what we were doing then. And then just over the last few years, a bunch of us have done, have worked on records for other people and made our own albums and gotten sort of better and better. And just in the last two years or so, I feel like I've gotten really like confident with it. We also liked the idea that it would instantly make the record sound a bit different, you know? Yeah. Because we were starting to worry that we, we were repeating ourselves too much on the last couple. Yeah. Um, and the band and this band was always about like, um, doing whatever we wanted and making like sharp left turns and yeah. Do you feel like oh, yeah. every album has a new aesthetic? And what's the inspiration behind changing the routine? I think that we go into the each album with like um, a new aesthetic and like a sort of focus on what we want to do that's different. And then as we make it, um, everyone's um, personalities come and affect the the aim and then you end up with what the record ends up as you know yeah so initially like Tasmania the previous record we, we almost wanted it to be like this like R&B like glossy R&B sort of like the weekend or outcast or something and it's not at all you know but that because we we mucked around and, and everyone through in their ideas and you know it slowly becomes this completely new thing and then this record was supposed to be like a kind of like punk record almost it's like really fast not punk not necessarily punk like punk rock but like just in like the speed of it and the directness of it what's the band's ideal place to perform and what do you miss about pre-covid shows yeah like somewhere like um the size of like the Metro, you know, like the PA and the monitors and stuff will be good and loud yeah. and, and like, but, but you're still close enough to like interact with people. Having members across various projects from Tame and Parlor, Gum, how do you mm. guys decide which song goes to which project? Firstly, it's more fun to use your best ideas with other people. Like it's more fun sitting on your own in your room, chipping yeah. away. Um, sometimes you just know that it, the others will like it. That's the other thing. Like it, it's not necessarily about what's good or what's not. It's like stuff that aligns with the other guy's taste. Mm. And then sometimes it's just like, like you work for it. Like we worked on this record for a period, maybe a year and a half. And then now the songs I'm writing um, are going to be for my gum record because like this would just finished upon one, you know, we won't do anything for a while. It's the ninth album. It's title nine. So let's just celebrate with nine rapid fire questions. So gravy or mushroom sauce? Oh, gravy. Chicken parmy or pub steak? Parmy, that's, yeah, it's sort of 50-50, but yeah, parmy. Front seat or back seat? Well, I just got my license last year, so I'm going to say front seat. Mullet or mohawk? I'm going to say mohawk just because the mullet is sort of ubiquitous now. What's your mum saved as on your phone? Mum, M-U-M. Okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Band group chat name? The Pond one is called Pond Band. Also <laughs> very inspiring. Most of them are, uh, are um, self-explanatory. Have you guys ever camped as a band at a festival? No, never. Ah, oh, okay. Mm. Um, and who's the most handy of the group? Yeah, I, I definitely Joe. Um, yeah. He is a tradesman. He's the only member of the band that could, could build you like a house if you had to. Okay, good to know. Yeah. I, I, I probably wouldn't live in that house myself. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't trust it, but he could, he could get it done. Well, thanks so much for your time, Jay. Um, no worries. thank you. The album is great, um, and I'm excited to see you guys tour once again once Borders open. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you very much.